I have another meal review for you. This time it is the Butte Cacao Banana from Wild Zora. If you're interested in seeing what this looks like and what it tastes like, keep watching. So once again, it is the Butte Cacao Banana from Wild Zora. This is from Wild Zora's Paleo Meals To Go. And although it doesn't say it, I'm going to suggest that this is basically a breakfast meal. But like a lot of good breakfast meals, you can have them any time of the day if it's what you want. So this is made with organic flaxseed, almonds and bananas, strawberries and cacao nibs. It has, like the other meals, no glutens, no grains, no milk and no added sugar. It has 13 grams of protein per serving and this is a one serving bag. It is from their freeze-dried shelf stable just add water line. And this will have a total of 450 calories per meal. So not a really calorie heavy meal, but certainly for a light meal along the way, uh, it, seem, it looks like it's going to be very good. Let's see, it has, in terms of its nutrients, only 8% of your sodium for the day, so that's pretty low. 16% of your carbohydrates, 60% of your fibers, gotta like that. Zero added sugars, 13 grams of protein. So the instructions are very simple. Open bag at the tear notch. Remove the small white oxygen absorber packet, of course. Reseal the bag, invert and shake to distrib distribute spices which may have settled. Well, I don't think there's a lot of spice in this, but this is pretty much a standard set of directions for the Wild Zora meals. Pour approximately one cup of preferably hot water. So you could put cold water in this bag and let it cold soak. Stir, or stir, reseal, let stand five to 15 minutes, eat and enjoy. So it's a... Uh, so, sounds pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is get some water on to boil and we'll open the bag up. We'll take a look at what's inside and we'll add some water, let it set for a few minutes and open it up and give it a try. So to bring my water to a boil today, I'm using the Stanley Adventure cook set over an alcohol stove inside my Simple Theory pack stove. And my water is boiling, so it's ready now to go into the bag. And I think it's about time I did the review on this Simple Theory gear pack stove, because I've been using it quite a bit, and uh, I think I am ready to make that review, so watch for that as well. All right, so my water is hot. Let's open the package up. Oh. I know it's in there somewhere. I'm looking for the... Oh, dropping some of the strawberries. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. The oxygen absorber packet. Reseal. Remix everything back up. Since I'm uh, going to cook it in the package, I'll do my best to show you what it looks like inside of here right now. And of course, once again, once it's cooked. So let's see what we can do. So inside of the package, you should be able to see the bananas and the strawberries, as well as the uh, flaxseed and other ingredients. I can't make out any cacao nubs, but uh, I'm sure they're in there. All right, let's add the water. Not too hot, good. So it's only a cup of water, so it's not a lot, but... And, you know, I've, I've discovered with some of these meals, you can go a little less water, but uh, it's always good the first time I do it to go with the instructions. Because then I can report back to you what the how it turned out by using the recommended amount. I'm using the wooden spoon. It's always good to have a long-handled spoon for freeze-dried meals, so that you can get into the corners and make sure that all the ingredients get mixed into the water. And I'd say that's well mixed. It's got a good smell on it already. All right, it's nice and warm out. I don't need a cozy. I'll just set that aside and about 15 minutes, maybe a little less. We'll, we'll have a look at it in 10 minutes and see what it looks like. All right, in full disclosure, I, <laughs> I got sidetracked uh, filtering some water with a new filter that I'm testing out. So it went the full, uh, yep, just 15 minutes. So it should have had much as much time as necessary to fully rehydrate, so. All right, goodness. Now, I will say before I even pour it into the bowl, that one cup of water is too much. Now, 
I could have put this in back in a pot and reheat it to help it rehydrate a little bit more, but I want you to see what it looks like at 15 minutes with just one cup of water. Uh, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was. I had another meal recently that I tested and did a review on. Actually, that's going to appear in the playlist at the end of uh, this video. That I had very much the same results. It, uh, using the amount of water that was recommended, it came out less thick than I would have liked to have seen it. And uh, I think that's the same thing here. But having said that, the smell is amazing. Okay, I'm going to reset the, the camera in a position where you can see me trying this out. All right, well, you know, between the time it just took me to set the camera up after having taken or poured the cereal out of the bowl or out of the bag into the bowl, it's thickened up a bit more. So uh, I'm not quite as disappointed as I originally was. Not that I was disappointed, it's just that I had been looking for something a little bit thicker. But I followed the directions. I used the one cup of water. So I think my recommendation would be to you that you either let it set longer, because it's certainly still hot enough, or maybe start with a little bit less water and put it in the bag when you seal it up. If you find after 15 minutes that it's too thick, just add a little water. I think it's personal preference. I think you'll find that everything will have, will have been well rehydrated. Uh, let me see if I can give you a little bit of a sample of what it looks like. So there are the bananas sitting on top of the flaxseed. Now how about the strawberries? The strawberries. Here are the cocoa nibs. I don't know how well that's going to show up. there. I can see them in there, but I can't. Well, let's have a taste. Oh, slivered, alm uh, slivered almonds. Yeah, I forgot about those. Let's give it a taste now. Mmm. Okay, despite my misgivings about the texture, the flavor is spot on. The strawberry comes out very strong. The ba banana is definitely there. The almonds had a nice crunch to it and add flavor. I think I can taste the cocoa nibs. It's hard to say. Uh, the, the cocoa nib flavor is not strong. Uh, I'm not even positive I'm tasting it, but I can certainly see them. They're in there. Someone else with a more refined taste bud than mine may, may, uh, may be able to distinguish them. Yeah, okay. Like all of the Wild Zora meals that I've tried so far, this is spot on as far as flavor goes, and, and you can't beat the quality. And that's what these Wild Zora meals are all about, is the extremely high quality and the extremely high health benefits to go along with the paleo uh, diet. And I think what distinguishes them is, is as much what is not in here. No preservatives of whatsoever. So, yeah, if you're looking for nothing but the healthiest meal to take with you on the trail in a freeze-dried form, then the Wild Zora definitely is the one to look for. Okay, I do have a playlist of Wild Zora meals that I've tried, and that will be linked at the end of this video if you want to see more of the Wild Zora lineup. But I'm going to sit back and enjoy this uh, breakfast in mid-afternoon because it does taste good and actually it's, even as we speak it's thickening up more. All right until I have something else to bring you get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.